And Egyptians celebrate Eid al-Fitr for the second day. Egyptians are expected to flock to public parks and gardens all over the country to mark the feast, which marks the end of the holy month of Ramadan. The Interior Ministry said that it was intensifying security measures all over the country to protect Egyptians celebrating the feast. Egypt's foreign ministry expressed regret on Wednesday over Italy's decision to halt supplies to Egypt of spare parts for F-16 warplanes. Italy's Senate voted on the decision last week in response to the death of Italian student Giulio Regini. The foreign ministry said the Senate vote is not in line with the volume and level of cooperation between the two countries. It said that in response, Egypt will consider ongoing cooperation in the fields of combating illegal immigration in the Mediterranean and dealing with the situation in Libya, as well as other files in which Italy gets the Egyptian backing. The statements expressed astonishment that the Senate did not criticize Cambridge University for the lack of cooperation in the investigations over Regini's killing. Italy was Egypt's fourth largest trade partner in terms of both exports and imports in 2015. The foreign ministry expressed deep concern over Israel's settlement activities in the Palestinian-occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem Al-Quds. The foreign ministry condemned Israeli government ongoing settlement activities on Palestinian land, which create de facto situation of the existence of illegal settlements and undermine efforts to resume the Palestinian-Israeli peace talks. Foreign Ministry spokesman Councillor Ahmed Abu Zaid said that the timing of this escalation is not justified as it coincides with regional and international efforts to encourage the two sides to build confidence and create conducive atmosphere for the resumption of peace talks. The Egyptian-led investigative committee reiterated that it is the only body authorized to issue official statements on the investigations. A statement issued by the committee said that experts investigating the Airbus plane crash need more time to analyze and match the information gathered before they can reach basic conclusions. The Aircraft Accident Investigation Committee said in the statement that experts will compare information downloaded from the flight data recorder and establish time correlation with the information gathered from the cabin voice recorder. The committee had said that the memory chips of the plane's black boxes are intact and investigators should be able to access them. A car bomb killed 11 soldiers in Libya's second city, Benghazi, as they held evening prayers on the first day of Eid 